The U.S. Navy is undergoing a significant transformation as it phases out its trusted C-2A Greyhounds, responsible for vital deliveries to aircraft carriers worldwide. Although not quite Amazon Prime, these deliveries include essential supplies, parts, and even Amazon packages. The C-2 Greyhound has served the Navy since the 1960s, but it's time for a change, and the CMV-22 Osprey is stepping up to the plate. The CMV-22 Osprey may resemble the MV-22 used by the U.S. Marines, but it has some unique capabilities up its sleeve. Can it truly replace the C-2's role? Absolutely, and it goes beyond that. However, the Osprey's full potential with the U.S. Navy is yet to be fully realized, and the reasons may surprise you. Directly airlifting cargo to an aircraft carrier in the vast ocean is a costly endeavor, which is why it's primarily reserved for urgent deliveries like parts, engines, and critical personnel evacuations. But the C-2 Greyhound has been the trusted workhorse for these missions. For other supplies like Amazon packages, mail, food, and fuel, a different approach is employed. Underway replenishment with supply ships. CMV-22 versus C-2 Greyhound. The CMV-22 Osprey is set to take the helm from the C-2 Greyhound. It's a unique tilt rotor aircraft, capable of vertical takeoff and landing like a helicopter and cruising like a turboprop. While it has a slightly lower payload capacity at 6,000 pounds compared to the C-2's 10,000 pounds, it compensates by offering the ability to carry external cargo, accommodating oversized loads that wouldn't fit in the C-2. In terms of operational range, both the C-2 and the CMV-22 are on par, but the Osprey gains a significant advantage with its mid-air refueling capability offering extended range when necessary. However, what truly sets the Osprey apart is its remarkable ability to execute vertical takeoff and landing, a contrast to the C-2's catapult launches and arrestor wire landings. Takeoff and landing forces can be daunting for passengers, especially those with medical conditions. In a critical case in February 2021, a sailor who suffered a stroke required evacuation from the aircraft carrier USS Carl Vinson. Evacuating on a C-2 Greyhound during a catapult launch could have been life-threatening. Fortunately, the CMV-22 Osprey was present and conducted its maiden medevac mission, ultimately saving the sailor's life. During a critical breakdown of a catapult on the USS Abraham Lincoln, Essential repair components had to be transported from shore back to the carrier. While the C-2 Greyhound could have utilized the remaining catapults for this mission, the challenge was the lack of a nearby runway at the support facility. This would have necessitated multiple hops to transport the elements back to the ship. The CMV-22 Osprey stepped in, cutting transit time significantly by flying directly to the location. It's worth highlighting that in both scenarios, helicopters wouldn't have the necessary operational range to travel from the carrier to the shore. Even if they could, the Osprey's ability to transition to airplane mode during horizontal flight gives it a significant speed advantage over helicopters. The CMV-22 boasts a cruising speed of approximately 305 miles per hour, nearly double the speed of conventional helicopters. The most distinctive feature of the CMV-22B compared to other V-22 variants is the prominent fuel tank extensions on the sponsons. Additionally, the CMV variant incorporates an enhanced fuel dumping capability for emergency situations, allowing it to jettison fuel mid-flight if needed. These innovations were essential to ensure the CMV-22's operational range meets the requirements for its primary mission, carrier onboard delivery, taking over from the C-2s. The CMV-22 Osprey represents a transformative asset for the Navy, extending its capabilities beyond cargo transport. 
These versatile aircraft could be outfitted with the V-22 Aerial Refueling System, VARs, enabling them to refuel other aircraft such as F-A-18s or F-35s. This strategic advantage allows F-35s to reach distant target areas up to 1,000 miles away when refueled by the Osprey. While the U.S. Marine Corps has been exploring aerial refueling capabilities, it remains uncertain whether the U.S. Navy will adopt this feature for its CMV-22 fleet. Currently, the U.S. Navy deploys two carrier-based aircraft with tanker capabilities for aerial refueling. The FA-18F Super Hornet, for instance, can be equipped with external tanks to supply fuel to other aircraft. The Osprey's versatility extends to its ability to carry various mission packages. While it may remind some of the LCS concept, this is a unique feature. The Osprey's rear ramp accommodates the installation of different mission packages in its cargo bay. For instance, if an E-2 Hawkeye encounters operational issues, a specialized communication package could be swiftly installed, effectively transforming the CMV-22 into a communication node. Additionally, successful testing of electronic warfare roll-on, roll-off packages by the U.S. Marine Corps highlights the Osprey's adaptability. Moreover, the Osprey will feature a beyond-line-of-sight, high-frequency radio and enhanced command and control capabilities to facilitate line-of-sight communications over vast distances. Furthermore, the CMV-22 boasts a spacious interior, accommodating a crew of four along with room for 24 troops. CMV-22 Challenges Despite these impressive capabilities, a challenge arises. The U.S. Navy's initial plan was to acquire 48 Ospreys, but this number was later trimmed to 44. By December 2022, only 19 have been delivered. The Osprey's expanded role, while valuable, might strain its availability for primary missions during periods of high demand, given its multifunctionality as a logistical asset. Additionally, the V-22 platform's maintenance demands and high cost per flight hour pose additional considerations. As the Osprey's capabilities are increasingly utilized across different fleet elements, there could be strains on its availability and readiness. Currently, the Navy's Osprey resources are primarily allocated for carrier onboard delivery missions. To fully leverage its additional capabilities, the Navy will need to bolster its air crews, maintenance personnel, and Osprey fleet. Accommodating these additional missions with the current number of aircraft is a challenge, as it could potentially hamper availability for essential carrier onboard delivery missions. The Navy's complete transition to the CMV-22 fleet is anticipated by 2028. Notably, the Pentagon does not currently have plans to procure more Ospreys for any military branch beyond existing orders. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed our video, Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content on military aircraft. And remember, hit that bell icon so you never miss our latest uploads.